Just to lock down, uh, you say this may well get worse before it gets better. It sounds like that's a statement to prepare us for an extra lockdown or extra restrictions. What has lockdown achieved so far on day four? Well, I, I just want to be uh, honest with people uh, every step of the way. We are standing up daily, um, talking to the broader Victorian community through you all here, um, about uh, where we are right now. Uh, and where we are today is uh, uh, those additional cases that we've gone through, um, high number of primary close contacts, high number of exposure sites, a uh, very concerning number of very high risk settings. Um, so I want to be clear with people that the next few days um, are going to be so critically important uh, and that includes the possibility that this outbreak will get worse before it gets better. That, that's, the, that's the situation that we're in right now and I want to be upfront with people to let them know that that's the case. The numbers haven't come down significantly in the last couple of days, um, day by day. Um, I'm just trying to work out what this lockdown has achieved so far. Uh, well, the, as Professor Sutton outlined, the ultimate goal of, the, uh, of, of a circuit breaker lockdown uh, is for our public health team to get ahead of the outbreak and for the cases to come down. Uh, and as Professor Sutton outlined before he had to leave, is that we are running neck and neck with this thing right now. Uh, neck and neck with it. So the next couple of days are going to be so, so critical. And I just want to say to people that it may get worse before it gets he better. He also said that contact tracing has this in hand. I mentioned to him that it was overwhelmed last week and he denied that. But he said contact tracing is in hand. If contact tracing is in hand, that's one of the major ways of, of combating outbreaks. Why are we now talking about the possibility of a longer lockdown? Oh, well, I'll get, I'll get the uh, COVID-19 commander to uh, talk in some further detail. Uh, but we've got 2,400 people in our public health team. Uh, as, I've, as I've outlined a number of times with this recent outbreak, our contact tracers are working faster than they have ever worked before. They are doing a brilliant job, um, you know, within a very short space of time, identifying and locking down uh, generations of, of cases. So they're doing a brilliant job. What could... uh, but we are, we are seeing, uh, we are seeing today, uh, via the number of cases, the number of exposure sites. Uh, we are running neck and neck with this thing right now. Uh, everyone's doing their very best that they can. The, co the contact tracing team are doing a brilliant job. But right now, it is neck and neck, and it may well get worse before it gets better. Just a quick one on the QR codes. Uh, what concessions are you ready to make at this stage about the inadequacies of the QR codes and how it's been used by the general public for the last, say, six months? Well, I'll ask the COVID-19 commander to talk about the QR codes. Yeah, sure. Um, I know you said it's too soon to say whether the lockdown will be extended. What would be your advice to a couple getting married this weekend? Oh, look, um, I, I appreciate the question, and for couples planning uh, planning a wedding, I, I know that um, they'd be sitting on every word that is being said at these conferences. But it's just too early for me to provide advice. I, I think that would be completely unfair on anyone planning um, something special um, in, in, the, in the, you know, coming, coming days. Um, we're running neck and neck with this outbreak right now. Um, we've got a lot of exposure sites. Uh, we've got a lot of high risk sites that we are concerned about. Um, the next few days will be absolutely critical. So, you know, we'll have a better sense, as Professor Sutton has said, um, through the course of this circuit breaker lockdown, and we'll be able to provide advice based on public health advice. But right now, uh, it would be unfair on any individual to, to speculate on what might happen.